Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to my company. Today, we're going to be making quite a bit of money. And um, contrary to what I said previously, we're not going to be doing that by making products as much. Because I find products are severely lacking. I was doing a bit of comparing between either developing your own progress or sorry, your own uh, product and then trying to market that versus just doing contracts. Doing contracts is extremely lucrative. I was able to bring in, for example, 15,000 via products per day, and that's minus hosting costs, etc. Or I could bring in about 240,000 a day through contracts. So I think that the end game um, content for this game currently is a bit lacking, but then again, it is early access. So by the time that you're watching this, in let's say maybe 12 months time, this might be entirely different. For now, and this is August 2017, it is a bit on the low end of the spectrum. The products just don't make you as much. I mean, this is $30 per day. And that's, um, yes, okay, I have 671 users, I still need way, way, way more. But my hosting expenses are already 375, so I need to make much, much more than that. And I'm gonna have to go to lengths of, I don't know, 100,000 per day, which I haven't reached in any of the save games that I've played so far, in order to make it competitive with contracts. And especially the bigger your company is, the bigger the contracts that you can accept are, and the more money you can make with that. Anyway, for now, we need to boost the hype a little bit. Uh, we already have a few things underway, a few marketing programs. And uh, let's see if we can upgrade. We would need to get a front-end module and an input module. So let's have one of these guys constantly working on a front-end module. And of course, we don't have interface modules. Okay, you're gonna be making a few of those first. As for my research team, I said I was gonna be working on the features, so that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna be making something that gives me the most hype. Um, 22, 22, 22. Let's go for a CMS, Content Management System. You get everybody working on that, and that should be done in a few days, if that. I could even split them out between two projects. Yeah, okay, two are going to be CMSing and two are going to be working on, not a framework, but the image upload system. And then we have a couple of contracts that are awaiting. Media emergency for 23,000. Um, no, I'm going to need my interface modules elsewhere. How about you? High urgency. More money for me. 47,000 is accepted. I just need one backend module. And then you, low urgency, still a pretty big low urgency contract. Yep, got that one too. All right, so we are a go once again. Um, I do wanna hire somebody new, by the way. I wanna start hiring an HR manager. I have enough marketers as is. An HR manager is gonna make it easier to um, control all the staff. So we're just going to see if somebody applies overnight. Let's see how we're doing. We're making database layers, interface modules, and storage modules. That's not exactly what I need for my contracts. What I need are back-end modules. Just one of them, really. So go to work on that. And the other contract was going to require a couple more backend modules and is done with the rest of it. Oh, hey, we have another marketer who's not actually doing anything because you're not being managed. That can't stand. Here we go. Somebody's idling. Uh, you're researching, I think. CMS, image upload. Yeah, I think you're the CMS department. Hand one of these in already. Yep, 47,000. Done. Now, I'm also starting to feel a bit of slowdown in the game, um, performance wise. It seems that either my computer isn't up to snuff, or the game, especially later on, isn't fully optimized for what it's doing. 
So there's so much going on and so many of these things getting finished that the game is just having a hard time keeping up. I didn't get that one, that's fine. We just need five more backend modules. And we did get an applicant for the HR manager position. We have Jim Brown. Jim, I have an office waiting for you. Now what Jim can do is manage uh, managers. So he's like an overarching uh, manager. And I can tell him to manage all of these people below him. And then I can very, very quickly see um, who is in a good mood, who's in a bad mood. And instead of having to click every single person like this and then go send on vacation, I can now do that through Jim. I can just click this button, send on vacation, and we can just send them all home or away on vacation. Now, as for the schedule, I can say that um, this is going to be the working day, and this will make it far easier to get everybody in at the same time and everybody out at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to see people waiting on, for example, database components or backend components um, and not doing anything productive for the last, let's say, hour of the day. And I can say, well, we're going to be uh, working on a significantly large project. I'm going to be working 15 hour days. Uh, people really wouldn't appreciate that really wouldn't appreciate that. It can work. But I could also say, well, um, this is going to, let's say, decrease mood by 4% per day. Uh, if I scave that off by one hour, uh, it's only 2%. So you practically half that, and that means that people don't need as much vacation. And then the effect becomes uh, quite less and less and less. Uh, the minimum time to work is three hours, which is a bit low. And you can even say, well, you know, our working hours are uh, 0 to 7, if for some reason you would want to. I'm going to say 9 to 4, because that has the lowest mood decrease per day, or at least the one that I'm willing to accept. And then uh, people won't need as many holidays. Yes, I'm going to be working, or I'm going to be losing one productive hour per day, but that's fine because I don't need as many vacations, which is gonna cost me three days of uh, time for people. Let's see, this contract still has 72 hours left. We have one more backend module that we need. And somebody is eating up backend components again. It's probably these interface modules. No, it's not them actually. Let's go for a couple of front ends. I think we have enough storage modules as is. Um, what do we have you working on? A couple of these. Because we still need to do a bit more marketing for Snapshot, considering that it's not really getting enough hype. Uh, we need... No, we don't need a server. We need a couple of network components. That's going to generate a lot of hype for the video functionality. Just two more backend components. Another one. Done. Now I can hire some other people should I need to. Um, this is the HR manager, then we have the DevOps, which is for your products. If your products are going to take up too much power, and I'm not sure what CU exactly stands for, I th think something along the lines of computer units or concurrent users, something like that. Um, every feature that you add or everything that you upgrade costs CU. So if I upgrade this now, it's going to put more pressure on my server, which is fine. I don't mind that. But if this bar is full, then the product is going to slow down, literally. It's like Facebook servers are not up to snuff. So then you need to add either small virtual servers, medium virtual servers, or large virtual servers, and then you're going to need somebody who can make those. That is the DevOps section. That's what these people do. Aside from that, I've shown you everyone who's in the game. We have the marketer, we have the HR manager, the researcher, the lead developers, the managers, designers, developers, and the sales executives. So that's it. Now let's see what these contracts want. We have another low urgency. Um, I'm going to adjust his operating routine. I'm going to boost him to a expert level. I'm going to say I want a fixed price. I want large contracts. Search. I'm going to do this with everyone. Because lately I've been testing it a bit. And I've found that this just works better. 
it is way easier to get very, very high paying contracts with stuff that you basically have everything for already. Uh, I need to upgrade you to an expert level. Fixed price, large contract, go. And then in the meanwhile, we can continue to upgrade Snapshot, which needs a couple of network components, uh, maybe some web comment functionalities, which is... Where's the comment section? A CMS. Am I just not looking proper here? Where is it? Notification, input module. Yeah, need a few backend modules. Get to work on that. You don't have all the required components. Wonderful. We have a few too many file systems at the moment, so we're going to switch over one of these. Now it's going to take them longer to search for a proper contract, but that's fine. We have the time. Wow, $58 revenue. I'm going to get so bloody rich on that. Now let's see what these guys dig up. Contract. Low urgency. Um, no. You. Medium urgency. I can more or less immediately hand it in. I just need one backend module and a couple of interfaces for 28,000. Let's do it. Uh, we need backend module and interface modules. In your contract, meet emergency. Nah. I need a big contract. We need one more interface mod. Somebody's eating up interface modules. That's probably the front-end designer. Cancel that. Switch. Deliver. Done. Jumpstart. Now, at this point, we have quite a few people who are going less than optimally happy, so we're going to send everybody on vacation. Again, might not be the optimal way of doing things, but I find that it just works better if everybody goes on vacation at the exact same time. Otherwise, you're going to have bottlenecks. You're going to have people who are relying on products from others, which are simply not getting created, not getting delivered, etc. It's tedious. Let's not do that. So I think this covers everyone, except the managers. The managers cannot, I believe, be sent on vacation this way. Or can they? I stand corrected, they can. Everybody is on vacation here, there, here. This table's empty, this one's empty. The only one working is the office, or the, sorry, the HR manager sent on vacation. Um, we do not have any active contracts, so that's fine. Everybody seems to be back. I think the game just skipped over a few days. There we go, done. Uh, yep, snapshot generated a couple of revenues, so this is basically four days of revenue. Still, it's really not that much. Get to work. Upgrades. We need a couple of network components. Anyway, we have contracts awaiting. High urgency. Uh, short of a few interface modules, we can immediately hand it in. And this one, low. No. Interface modules are being worked on. Still looking for a contract. What do you have? Low urgency. I don't want low urgency contracts. I really don't. Medium. Again, two interface modules. That's fine. One, two, done. Next. See, that just made me $50,000 in one day. Versus a product that's going to make me $100 a day. What are we going on about? This is just... The massive, massive difference between, on the one hand, having your own product, and on the other hand, just doing contracts for other companies and getting rich that way. And I mean really rich. High urgency, 45 grand, two interface modules, done. 
Uh, you need a media emergency contract, and we can immediately hand it in. Can't? What am I missing? Aha. Uh -huh. Network components. Four. Three. Somebody's eating these up. What are you working on? Encryptions. I think we have a few too many encryptions at the moment. Come on. Outpace her. There we go. Yeah, just enough. Done. 28 grand. One contract. Next. We still need more network components for the high urgency contract. Which, of course, I should have handed in first. But here we are. Um, I think we have enough interface modules for the moment. And we can hand this in. That was another 70,000 for one day. Now, if you look at my cash flow, I'm making 1.1 million in the last 30 days versus uh, the past 30 day or the next 30 days going to cost me 371,000. Per month profit, $750,000. Keep in mind that my company is 72 days old. Don't take a close look at um, how accurate you would expect the timeline to be. Because it is really not that accurate. Um, sure, we can accept that. What else do you have? High urgency. Done. 45,000. Next. Medium. Oh, another 27. We just need one more network component. Done. How about you? You need network components yet again. These things are starting to be a big bottleneck. And they're being used at about the same rate that we're producing them. Dean McBride called in sick. Call me a bad employer, but I don't know who that is. Now, a couple of these people are working on things that we have way too many of already. Come on. There we go. Done. Now, it's time to go for another revenue stream, which um, I'm going to show you, but is really not that lucrative. This is buying shares in competitors. Um, I could say, for example, I'm going to buy shares of uh, Jitter, which I believe would be the equivalent of Twitter. So, we're going to say um, these guys have seven... Actually, we may be able to buy up daily movement, although their market share at 4% is really bad there, market share. Four percent. These guys have four million total users. Um, I can buy quite a lot of their stock. If I wanted to buy the whole company, I would need 66 million, which is quite a lot. For now, I have, let's say, let's spend... How much? There. We're going to spend... Um, almost $400,000 on buying stock. Now, this gives me 18,860 units of stock out of their total of 3.1 million. So this is not like I'm buying half the company because it's a uh, logarithmic scale for what I've seen. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And that is gonna give me a daily cut of their profits. Uh, low urgency, no thanks, not interested. What do you have? Another low, no, not interested. Now these guys were done building features. Um, I'm going to set up a payment system with the two of you, and the other two are already working on the Nitrosoft thing. Now time to upgrade Snapshot a bit more. I need a couple of network components, the rest I have. I could also upgrade the landing page or the web comment functionality. So we're going to need input modules and notification modules. Input modules, that's one. And notification modules requires email modules. Why are you idling? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right, we need notification modules now. There we go, now we can make a few. Three people are calling in sick. Snapshot generated 175, and there we go. Daily movement generated $1,089 in revenue. So that is another revenue stream. And I just spent, mm, what was it, 380000 or something like that? So it's going to take you quite a few days to get this back. Um, at this rate, about 380 days. Still, it's an additional income stream. It can help. Low urgency, no. I want a big contract, something really impressive. C48 grand, there we go. We just need to make a few interface modules and we're good. And snapshots. It's almost done. A few interface modules for the contract. I think that at this point we have enough of these modules, so we're going to teach him how to do the notification module. Switch you over to that. You're idling. Keep making these. Two more, and one back-end component. Another $1,000, but I'm really going to have to hand in this contract soon. Because at this point, I'm starting to slightly run out of money. And I would hate to go broke. We have plenty of back-end modules at the moment. There we go, 48 grand. Thank you. Do you have any high paying contracts? Not really. But I'm a bit cash poor at the moment, at least comparatively to what my normal situation. Uh, this contract needs one interface module. Which happens to be already being produced. Done. Upgrades the video functionality. We can do another bit of marketing. Keep boosting this product. If I wanted to upgrade the landing page, that would be easy. I would just need a couple of input modules. And we already have plenty of front-end modules. We're going to keep making a few interfaces. And what was the other one? All oh, right, the input module. Go. Oh, keep it up, gentlemen. Um, interface. Some of these guys are working on video components, which at this point we already have a lot of. We don't really need any more. Let's see, these contracts, a low urgency declined, and a medium that we can immediately hand off. Done. Now, we should have enough for a few upgrades here. At this point, you can see that the amount of users is jumping. We're getting uh, 5,300, 5,400, and I think we're going to be seeing about 6,000 by the start of the day. Eh, 5,800. At this point, this product is starting to make more money. We are now at about $300 per day, but that is not so much profit, that's revenue. So that's not actual money that we're getting from it. So far, it is still costing us money. Now what we need here are, surprise, surprise, more backend modules. Uh, you're only managing five people. I can boost you to hire, or to at least control more people. So we're going to need another couple of employees. Developers to be exact, experts, go. Contracts, low, no. What do you have? A low urgency, not interested. $300 per day. Upgrade it, upgrade it. Couple contracts, medium. Mm, sure. Done. And another medium, sure. So that just made me another 60,000, that's nice. Let's jump it. I'm still losing about $12,000 per day. That is, uh, those are my costs. Oops. 
let's not move those around. We only have one person who came out and said they wanted to work for me. That's really low. Anyway. Um... Hmm. I need this cluster to get bigger. So I'm going to have to rearrange the office a bit. Um, I can just rotate your desk a bit. Let me make it a longer shaped desk cluster here. Here, and you're going to be building, surprise, surprise, back-end modules consistently. Okay, how about our contracts? What we need are, yes, the back-end components, always our favorite bottleneck. Another 30,000. Let's see how my researchers are doing. We're still researching the payment modules and the Nitrosoft platform. Everything's going according to plan. Three new contracts are awaiting. High urgency. See, this is good money. This is 50,000 and I can immediately hand it in. Next. Another high urgency, which I can immediately hand in. Thank you. And you have found another high urgency. We just need one more backend component and one blueprint module. So that should be done momentarily. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, we need wireframe components. And I believe one of you guys is building... Actually, multiple guys are building interface modules, which at now we have enough of. So you're just going to have to wait. And then once these guys are... There we go. Now just look at what this does to my bottom line. My profits just went up to $900,000 per month. And that's without even having the maximum number of employees. Medium urgency. You need one UI component, one blueprint for another 31. Is anybody even making UI components at this point? Not really sure. Um, I'm going to make sure that this desk is doing everything that they need. You're going to be working on that. You're going to be making these. I know that this is not the most um, ideal way of handling things. But I have plenty of cash. So I'm really not worried about all of this stuff. Now most of these are simply not required. It's only really required when you're going to be building higher level modules. So I'm going to be setting this thing. Uh, sorry, this desk. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Let's move you over. Come on. This is one full row. Um, he's their manager. You're building network components. I could just set, the, set them up like this. So you're going to be working on UIs. Uh, we have another one working backend components. We have another one working network components. Another backend component. Uh, a video component. That's one of the more specialized items. We already have plenty of these. You're just managing employees. Now the office is a bit of a mess. Which is fine. I think start... Holy shit, 141? <laughs> okay, that might be a bit much. Um... This is probably a graph of my growth, by the way. That looks very uncomfortable. Let's see. It's a bit of reorganization going on, but it's the good kind of reorganization. We do not have to fire anybody. Okay, so we have our UI component group. We have our backend component group. Actually, you're going to sit over there in a small cluster. Come on. Nope, not you. This one. 
there. We have a couple of people making network components. We have some database components. We have encryption components. Um, those were all the primary layers. All the stuff that we usually need a lot of. Then we're going to have our sales guys. Um, have one spacer between that. Like that. Managing contracts. This is the sales division. Then we have a whole bunch of ma uh, managers. You two can join up here. Come on. Selecting these desks is a bit finicky. You're managing employees. At this point I have lost track which ones, but that's not really a problem. They just need to continue to work. These are all the managers. Well, not all of them, but... This is the HR manager. Uh, search algorithm components. You can just join in here. Like that. We can separate these tables a bit more. There we go. We have one spare desk. Um, not sure we have any bottlenecks at the moment. We probably do. I mean, we always do. Done. Now, at this point, Snapshot is finally starting to generate money. Because we have 11,290 users. And this means that my income is $512 per day, but my hosting expenses are only $375 per day, so we're making about $140 per day off of this, which is all right. It's not stellar. Um, it's all right. And I just hope that we can get this to about 1000 for a start. High urgency fixed. 52000 sure. Another high urgency. That's another 50. Let's do it. A couple of UI components are needed. Looks like they're... Are they just being produced or are they being eaten by somebody? Oh, okay, jump. There we go. Snapshot generated 555. The daily movement revenue was 1089. They are being eaten by somebody. Who, though? Input modules. Yep, he's eating up UI components. How about you? Medium contracts. Um, sure, we can easily fulfill that one just after we do this one. Cha-ching. Next. Cha-ching. So that just made me about 130,000 per day. Reasons. 200,000. Uh, we just need two more blueprints. See, this is what I mean. The end game is just doing contract after contract after contract. You don't really need a product because it is nowhere near as lucrative as it is just doing contracts. The product really doesn't generate that much money. And it's taking a long time to get it spinned up and ready to get it actually doing anything. Um, there we go, another 34,000. It takes my product about two weeks, if not more, to generate such a payout. But for a contract, I get it instantly. 680. Keep marketing this thing. Now, the problem with Snapshot at the moment is that it is pretty limited. It has three features. It only has a web landing page, a video functionality, and a comment functionality, and that's it. If we can get the Nitrosoft platform off the ground, which should happen soon, then we can have eight features. We can have a maximum feature level of 60, as compared to a maximum feature level of 10 for the Nitrosoft platform 20, 2005. And this means that um, this platform, or a product based on this platform, is usually going to do way, 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 way better. And for now I'm just basically making as much money as possible so that I can buy some more stock and get some more income streams that way. Let's see, another low. See, this is just, um, you get a bit arrogant at this point because I can say, well, $20,000 for a contract, no thanks. 
If somebody offered me $20,000 for a contract, I'd be jumping up and down. But not so much over here. And these guys are almost done researching. Uh, I could do with another researcher, but aside from the framework and the features, we're almost done. The payment system is almost completed. And once these guys are done with the payment, we can then switch them over to the Nitrosoft. So that should do it. $780 revenue. High urgency, sure. Can we have one more encryption component, please? Thank you. Done. Medium. Mm, I think we've exhausted our stock for a bit because the encryption components are starting to lag behind. Hold. Medium. Sure. That's another 70,000 we can done pretty quickly. Unless somebody's eating up encryption components, but I think it's just taking a little bit... Oh! He called in sick. Yeah, that'll have to do with it. Forty-six hours left. Just give me one more. And now we're missing wireframe components. One more. Done. Seven oh thirty-four. And this one. Oh, this one's a bit more intricate. We need a couple of backend modules, some interface modules. Okay, get me some interface modules. Give me some backend modules. Oh, you called in sick, really? You picked that day to do that, huh? Whoops, I'm not really planning on moving the table. Uh, wireframes and encryptions. Of course, the interface modules are eating up my wireframes. So I'm going to turn repeat off. Another contract. I have to wrap this episode up soon, by the way. There we go. Alright, as the last bit of the episode, I'm going to buy another uh, slide of shares of... Let's see, who's has, who has a rising market share? 2%, 6%, Amazon, <laughs> really, Amazon, eBay, uh, this is mine, of course. See, it's still only generating about $600 per day. It is really, really small when compared to the other stuff. Now, um, Alitada only has 18,000, sorry, 18 million users, 5% market share. If I were to buy the whole company, I would need 204 million, which is a bit more than what I have right now. Uh, we're just going to continue buying up shares from, uh, what was that? Daily Movement, also known as Daily Motion. Mm, how much can we afford safely? I'd say something like that. Done. Alright, this is going to get me quite a bit of cash per day. Let's see what these contracts want. Um, no, it's only 21. High urgency, easy. 57,000. These guys are done. We can switch those over to the Nitrosofts which is almost complete. And then, and that's what I'm going to be doing next episode, we're going to be building a product on the Nitrosoft 2016 platform. So, join me next time as we're going to be expanding and building another product. Um, it's going to be probably the last episode of this series because I'm reaching so far into the end game and money is coming so easily that um, the challenge is pretty much gone. So hopefully there's going to be more endgame content, but we're just going to have to wait and see what the guy has in mind. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments, and I'll see you soon for more of this startup company game.